Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, the family of this teen killed in a triple shooting in Northwest Jacksonville. Family is speaking out. It really was. He was out there. Yeah, that little said he was. Mm. <laughs> he, he looked like he had to go. Like his abs had to get him out of the way. <laughs> he was. He was. He was active, man. He's terrorizing. Um, his. Look, let's see what the mom says, man. It really wasn't worth it. At the end of the day, Adrian didn't have to lose his life for her foolishness. 16-year-old Adrian McKenzie and two others were shot on Effie Street in the Moncrief area last week. Another shooting also happened in that area a few days later when people were gathering. One woman was hit in the arm, and so far police have not announced any arrests in either shooting. News for Jack's reporter Alicia Hatcher joins us live. So Alicia, his family wants to clear the air about several things. Tarek, I spoke with his mom and godmothers, and they say that Adrian was a well-mannered, respectful young man who loved music and rapping. He didn't know why. He was a well-mannered and respectful young man who loved music and rapping. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> Yeah, let me hear that shit. Let me hear what you're talking about. Shoo, 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 kill, kill, kill. A well-mannered young man who enjoyed music. Rapping about being well mannered. Yeah, exactly. She did say he's well mannered. Yeah, he he wasn't funny. So this is yeah. <laughs> or shy, bro. Yeah, I like my rappers funny, man. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was he's comical rap. Right? Alicia. Yeah. Alicia Hatcher joins us live. So Alicia, his family wants to clear the air about several things. Tarek, I spoke with his mom and godmothers, and they say that Adrian was a well-mannered, respectful young man who loved music and rapping. It ain't no YBZ. We know Adrian, you know. YBZ. <laughs> Adrian wasn't that type of child. Adrian McKenzie was killed in a triple shooting last week. His mom, Stephanie Robinson, says she got a phone call telling her Adrian had been shot. What was going through your mind when you got that call? I was really looking for Adrian to call me because the last time that he got shot, he called me. <laughs> what? Yikes. Yikes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So he's a nice male-mannered kid that likes to listen to rap and he got shot already and he got shot like this, man. Wow. It speaks for itself, really. <laughs> and I, I get it, I, I get it. Yeah, he's he's nice and kind with them. But when he's out in public, he's not. You know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then he's probably not really nice and kind with them all the time. Just sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, almost never, you know? <laughs> <sighs> well, you know what? He's nice and kind with them when they give him what he wants and they tell him yes. If they tell him mm. no, he's not nice anymore. <laughs> right, right. Thank you. Christ, she said, "Let her quit the air. Let her quit the air and shit." Like, but but Aki, if this was like the only one time we heard this kind of shit, it would be incredible. But it's not. It's like a regular a doozy, thing. Though. This this is a doozy. This is this is this is a doozy. This is the Florida is off the chain today. <laughs> Jacksonville. Yo, I was about to say we're gonna have to take our Jacksonville street cred. Never mind. Yeah, man. Um, make sure you hit the PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat. Support the channel. I still got to get to this George Floyd sisters. Damn. Let me, let me, I do that next. This Florida. Oh, fuck, man. My God. I was really looking for Adrian to call me because the last time that he got shot, he called me. And he said, Mama, I've been shot, but this time I didn't get a call, a text. No one in the city can actually tell y'all why Adrian got killed because nobody knows. Robinson says no one really knew Adrian until he was killed. I ain't going to say that he don't have gang member friends, but one for sure, he's not no gang member. His rap. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. She knows for sure that he's not a gang member. He's been shot twice. He's a target. 
So gang members are targeting a non-gang member. Well, he's not in the gang anymore. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's not gang banging. Technically, God, technically, yeah. He he he's not in the gang anymore. And George Floyd's been drug free for three years. I mean, like I mean, it, technically, she's right. Have gang member friends, but one for sure, he's not no gang member. His rap, that's his music label. If anybody had any sense and they go to YouTube, they can see it says Bully Game Music Label. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, we got to look at this Bully, <laughs> bully Game. Bully Game. Bully Game. Bully Game Music. I mean, that's not a, that's a nice, respectable kid, man. Bully Game. Oh, shit, man. Oh shit, they got Fulio and all these motherfuckers up here. So then we're talking about like oh, you got Fulio with them? Like that's what's coming up when I'm putting these. Oh, here he is. Oh no, that's why BZ. They got they I thought that's his name. Then she yeah, said why why BZ. Let me let me put in his name. Why BZ. Oh my god, man. He's Oh, he down with ATK. Oh, this oh, motherfucker is a snap. All right, let's let's let's. <laughs> I just I'm I'm gonna let the mom spit and then we gonna let him spit. All right, let's let the mom spit. And then we'll... <laughs> I was really looking for Adrian to call me because the last time that he got shot, he called me. And he said, "Mama, I've been shot, but this time." I didn't get a call, a text. No one in the city can actually tell y'all why Adrian got killed because nobody knows. Robinson says no one really knew Adrian until he was killed. I ain't going to say that he don't have gang member friends, but one for sure, he's not no gang member. His rap, that's his music label. If anybody had any sense and they go to YouTube, they can see it says Bully Game Music Label. That's no, not your game. His godmom, Lisa, says Adrian was mannerable and respectful. He loved music and he loved rap. He was a mama's boy. If anybody knew him, they knew he loved his mother. And he pretty much was home. He might have hung out. You know, that's what I knew of Adrian. What anybody else knew, I don't know. And hopes people will remember the good Adrian did. His family says that they will have a private funeral for Adrian. So far, no arrest has been made. So if anyone has any information and connection to Adrian's death, you're asked to call JSO or Crime Stoppers. For now, reporting live, Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4. Why busy, man? Um, what is it? Um, Well-mannered and respectful? Yes, sir. He's going to make it a hit. Good start. Bro, walk down gang, can't get too far. I done got mad, they pop two bars. Nine in the scat, this a wonderful calm. Pain is short, but busting the top. Smashing the guy, gotta get to the block. Can't go too fast. No crack a bit hot, put that glee on. He dropped and stop. Bro, walk down, walk down, walk down. What the fuck, these niggas keep saying we down. Don't come with bullets, you better get down. Yeah, you better bend, nigga, better move around. What you gonna do when you hear that sound? Sound of the Drake, clap a light of dawn. I'm a real life, you know. We look like he's got more than a couple gang members. <laughs> yeah, and everything he's talking about is murder. Everything he's right. talking about is murder. And it's trash. It Looks like he's got about, about 50 or 60 gay member friends, man. Um, yikes. Surrounded by Uder. Yeah. These... I'm not going to lie. It's like close, close pretty trash. Walking out spat, I'm leaving a yeah. gun. Yeah. Switch on the glee, got a whole block around and can't fuck with this sack. No, I got a kind of never ever joke on my life. I'm a gunner. I was there, boy, you know that is murder. We got shit that they never heard of. We pissed shit way past the ball. Trade five, seven, toe with a muzzle on a bat, nigga. It's a fucking stutter. <laughs> Know that bitch suit like butter running in the group. I'ma break the huddle. Turn into a pad, I jump out and bust. 
pass coming in, we with it. New artillery, bro, got a hammer. Connors way and we knocking your end. Bro, I that can't get too far. I done got magic, part two bars, nine in the sky. This a wonderful car, I'm paying the show, but busting the top. Smash the guy, gotta get to the block, can't go too fast. No cracker, been hot for that glee on He dropped the stop. Bro, walk down, walk. His flow is all over the place. Yes. That's probably why they killed his ass out because that shit's trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody said turn that shit off when they started blasting. <laughs> right, I didn't mean kill him. <laughs> yeah, they were trying to shoot the radio. Bullock ain't hopping out, nigga, we finna get our man. Who said we ain't no niggas, man? Who said we ain't spinning? I got LeBron in the back with a drink on the lap, little nigga, we with it. You already got a bit of hot, hit him in his out, I switch. On the rock, I really rock semen on rapping them tickets. Run his ass down, we'll walk down, and I'm spinning the million. Turn me in mind, I don't think about spare two got killed like a human. Turn me in mind, I don't think about spare two got killed like a human. He talking about dead people and shit. Kill them off, I guess. Yeah. Oh, shit. So much manners. Yeah, exactly, man. Very mannerable, man. Yo, yeah, so it's Drill Entertainment Network. Um, I'm going to start covering these live updates uh, as they come out in my actual voice because uh, writing, you know, those videos and, and typing it all and editing it on YouTube, whatever. I'm going to do my shit. Killed on Effie Street here this is like um this is in monkey park there's six block right there so it's kind of in this kind of av6 area um you know as you know he was bully gang which is kind of the new uh the new shit going on over here uh they're like the new they're the shorties from uh you know wawg six block uh, a block avenue b all that you know max uh trill zabo those sort of guys um and yeah, he was he was killed. I don't know if Bully Gang actually has any territory. Uh, I think they're kind of just a group of friends or just like a set, kind of like W D uh, W A W G Dana. Oh, the mom was right. From C to Shannon C. Yeah, we're just ignorant and un uneducated on all this. <sighs> He's so. in the crew, not a gang, all right? Yeah, man, get your shit right, man. And a woman is in the hospital after being shot at a memorial on the city's north side. The woman has non-life-threatening injuries. The memorial was being held for a teen who was shot and killed last week. It happened on Effie Street in the Moncrief Park area on the north side. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joins us live now. Someone got shot. He's been shot twice. Someone got shot at his vigil. Well, he's just a fucking great guy. Wow. From JSO. Khalil, this is the second shooting on that street in just a couple of days. It is, and one woman says that she regrets now moving to Zesty. that area because of those shootings. And she says she's wondering why would someone go to an area where loved ones are gathering and interrupt what they had going on. Sunday afternoon, officers were busy taking pictures of shell casings near these evidence markers. They were also collecting other evidence and talking to this group of people. That's because around 3.30 this afternoon, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says there was a shooting on Effie Street. One woman was shot in her arm. She was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A neighbor who didn't want to be identified sent this photo to News for Jacks of the woman who was wounded. People were gathering on this street to honor a 16-year-old who was shot and killed last week. His shooting also happened on Effie Street and also involved a man and boy being wounded. News for Jack spoke with a family member of the 16-year-old teen, and they say they saw a suspicious car circling the block and then shots were fired. It was a break and it was shots and it was a break and then it started shooting again. News for Jack spoke with a neighbor. Who so they didn't like just peel out. They was, they got comfortable up there. Yeah. They made themselves at home? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Unfucking um unfucking 
unbelievable. In other local news, we're learning more about the 16-year-old killed during last week's triple shooting in Northwest Jacksonville. He's been identified as 16-year-old Adrian McKenzie. The group Mad Dads shared these photos of him. The group is also sharing a warning after a memorial service for the teen yesterday afternoon ended in gunfire. A woman was shot but is expected to survive. News for Jack reporter Eric Avenier joining us live with the latest on the triple shooting and Eric yesterday's drive-by. <laughs> Well, so far, no suspect has been identified in either shooting. Uh, the uh, Mad Dad president, A.J. Jordan, says this is the first time in, in the years that he's been a part of the organization in which he has heard of a vigil turning into a crime scene. Vigils, large and small, for gunshot victims are a common occurrence in Jacksonville. But A.J. Jordan... Of the Vigils, large and small, for gunshot victims are common occurrence in Jacksonville. Jacksonville Mad Dads organization says it's uncommon for a vigil to become a crime scene like the one that happened Sunday on Effie Street. In my 18 years of uh, serving our community, that has, that has uh, never happened. Whoever that person was was very bold and was definitely sending a message to that family and uh, other people in, in that visual last night. The vigil was for 16-year-old Adrian McKenzie, who was killed during a triple shooting last week. Jordan says the fact that Sunday's drive-by shooting injured someone attending the vigil just days after McKenzie was one of three people shot means the likelihood for a retaliatory shooting is very high. We don't know when. It could be a week from now. It could be two weeks. It could be a, a year from now. Just We just don't know. That's why it's important that we send the message that we've taken our community back from the criminals. Because right now, tensions are high. Tensions are definitely high, and we know that from what happened last night. 